secret. They are a huge favorite coming into this, but can the underdogs win? Can OG Dota bring down the Titans? I definitely think they've shown so many good games now. I personally... Especially with that Shadow Strike. No tell. He's dead here. He should tick out that with the last attack. Fly actually. No, we're gonna Shadow Grave. Keep No tell alive. He's still ticking down. He has six stick chargers and a heal. Uh, he's yeah, gonna he's gonna right. live. He's gonna live. Back behind the tier one tower and surviving. Well, actually, Pylai died. Not he's down. Good. Radiant Jungle. He thought he was safe on the other side of the tree line, but that Observer is still down from OG. Helping Miracle to ensure the kill. And if he can't really burn enough mana off here, even with the two points up in that mana break, Miracle actually very, very low. The crit slowing down Eternal Envy. There's no more chase to come. Oh, they could toss him. Roots as well as a bit like an urn for the Invoker. Does this mean you almost bypass the Animize with the kill? Good pressure on Highlight. Uh, he missed the NATO though, and it's still enough. Yeah, it is. However, support rotating in, that's not Miracle is blind, that's split up Misery, gonna miss the crush, but Eternal Envy will arrive, Miracle, the Shadow Grave's there from Fly, they're holding on that mana void, but now with the Shard, that's he locking him in, keeping him in place, Misery will control Bloom, the end for the first time, now as Weeha throws out the Sonic Wave, he'll end up dying, but Envy, with the mana void spill, adds to another kill, a double for him, chasing after Fly as well, he's blinked off cooldown in two seconds now, one second time, now off cooldown, can he get in front of Fly, probably wants to attack one, then blink forward to ensure the death blow. And a triple kill for Eternal Envy, four to his... OG's lineup is really good at dealing with right now, it's physical damage. They obviously counterpicked the Slardar by getting both Cold Embrace and Ease and Shalagrave mid lane. Yeah, there's your attack, Pumpy. He went instantly for the Hex, Miracle's still gonna hit that Tornado. Radiant Not sure Pumpy will end up surviving with that Urn taking him down, he'll give a Revenger, and then Pumpy, he doesn't survive, the Invoke will reach him. Miracle so far forward with a Telegrave allows him to TP out to save. See this movement from OG. They are identifying that if this MD is a problem. They're gonna go on him bottom. They commit curse. They go with the EMP as well. He's still got enough mana for a blink. He can get to the tree. If he can only blink, there he goes. Radiance Back behind the tree with the tomato attack. and the herbal timeout. Miracle oh end up dying. Envy so low again. And misery wants to punish. He's moving forward towards Strip. The amplification's up. No time. And it's down now to Weeha. Battling against Moomiander, the Dazzle Weave will give them the vision back behind the tower. Scouting out Misery and Weeha as well as stripping their armor away. Weeha down for the count. Radiant's Misery sprints himself away. Attack. He can't afford to die. Radiant He's just over 2k gold. He needs to keep this Blink Dagger money. But unfortunately, he can't spend any of it. Miracle with the Cold Stamp. Tornado still available. The Shards won't lock Misery in, but the Cold Stamp will die from the Tornado Fall. As OG find another kill and yet again delay. This is like that. Good well, dodge. Double bounty rune for Miracle. That AM blinking forward. Miracle has to go for the Yule. You have another blink on Envy. Not while he's getting cold snapped up. All the mana is lost. The pilot eye is still going to be here. You've got the Hex, meantime, a little bit further down the river where Fly dies the mass. Therefore, the Telegram will keep him alive. But Miracle with a Sonic Wave. Envy actually ending his actually having his three ended by the Invoker. There's something good coming out here from OG, but Pylai dies. He might be lost as well. It's a two for one trade off. Fly still fighting. Item on Antimage in this game, I think. I I would say. Or Fly. Walks in, the smoke's gonna break, and Weeha, well, there's a cross from Misery. Massai falls it down with a snowball, dragging Fly into the third wave. Hit so hard, no G, but they got so much life. Puppy dropping down low, his two year is lost. Probably gonna be a third Misery, so low with Fly. The corner break gets him up. Weeha will die from the fall. It's a double kill for Veritel. It's four kills for OG. And a nine kill lead, 19 minutes in. The only person that doesn't die is Colonel Envy because he just tapped. Why it happens. And Weeha is also in a world of hurt. He doesn't have a he doesn't have a TP scroll. It's on cooldown for 27 seconds. Miracle's gonna walk over. They go for the call snap. Blink in one second time. And Weeha, tomato again. Gonna send him up, and he can't get away. The Invoker will find the kill. OG extend their lead further. They still have Eternal Envy creep skipping the top lane. There's so much weight on his shoulders, and there is no alternative for Secret than to play this game on the back of Envy. With how much they've lost. Miracle. He's found it. Sentry was down, there's nowhere to hide. Misery is kicking down jump over the EMP, though he needs to wait till it's over. The Miracle tossed up, Pylai died, they cut their losses. They let him go, while Moon goes to the charge over on Puffy, won't lock him in. But he'll be able to back up. Puffy should be very happy to get in there. No, it's...
definitely a bonus kill for OG, should it have landed. What do you think about this build coming up on the Queen of Pain? Oh, we got Weeha going into an Orchid. Normally that's not and we see when you look for momentum, which they're losing time and time again. Misery, this is going to be an easy kill on this top. Maybe a little bit harder with the Smash Dirk Wars go down. And Moon Volley just so balls through it. Smash Dirk Wars very defensive. Crit, they've got control over on him for now. While the Shackles, ah, that's not going to end up. Triple end up time. Zeno keeping Team Secret away from responding to the road to the three-man gang squad that came behind the tier two tower. We are still wants to go for more, but they've lost their enemy. The Snowball protection grabs the Invoker up to Weeha. They got another punch, not a foul, but Weeha flicked himself away to safety. Further away from Pylite dying, away from the safety towards the EMP will burn Pylite down. He gets one last toss out, but he'll die over on the side tree line. Weeha, the sole survivor again. Team Secret always left with Radiant's one man to tell the tale of how OG top. killed them. They're going on Puppy. That avalanche buys a little bit of space, but Puppy will still die to the Orc, and there's nothing that can save him from this. So another kill coming the way of the Miracle Invoker. And he's getting even more, and Puppy, well, at least he spent his money before death, almost finishing this Yule Scepter of his. I think, yeah, they have. Yeah, so they got rid of it. Bottom lane, the attack is coming from OG into the tier three towers and move forward to see Pylai die. Meanwhile, up in the top lane, Envy Dyer's will finish off that tier two tower. So it ends up being a trade. In fact, Radiant's the secret gonna dodge this completely top. and go for a trade off. It may be a bit of a race. As now Puppy, the Mass Earth Wars will drop the Thermal and ensure the kill on the Shadow Shaman as they mop up the Mass Earth Wars for the tier three tower. Secret are working on the TV to come back to curse on Weeha. It doesn't catch out Envy, however. Misery will go for the crush. He doesn't have space to get back out of here as OG they'll get a double kill into the invoker they protect their tier 3 tower and they wipe the entire bottom rank secret just don't push fast enough there but he'll blink up the moon's still with him more responses in two seconds time envy can't find this one but moon's losing his man the mana boys are enough he got the greaves off in time and envy still doing some work the shackles keeping fly out there's no shot of for bubble now it's back up as well as the heal from fly but puppy this may be the fight to end it the sun strike even coming in looking for the pop and well it doesn't get close enough but it doesn't matter oh geez they have taken control of the team secret base no tiny no shaman envy's not ready to fight and they'll probably even lose the mid rack at this rate. Yeah, this game Radiant's is pretty much over right now. This, they can't attack. defend these barracks whatsoever. And they, I don't even think they can defend the top if there are five heroes Radiant's remaining. Middle tower has and the fallen. situation secret are in, five on fives are unwinnable. And they have no... This is, this is kind of telling you the tale of the game right now. They have got four heroes hiding inside their well. Pilot Eye is the only one forward. This almost baits like they're doing a smoke maneuver. The Invoker is inching his way forward. He sees Pylai die, and Team Secret, there goes your Hex Secret. They kind of, well, they're not even going to respond. They just let the Tiny die. They want Tiny Radiant's to go out and find someone and toss him to the fountain and just lock him up and blow him up. Is but... that the only dream? Have we actually come back to the point where we're almost looking at fountain hooking? What? The old classic puppy way? Secret. What? They're letting it go. They've got no choices. There's no time rating in a grand final secret. There is not. You... Radiance top tower. Maybe they're also buying time just to talk this out because right now things have just gotten completely out of control. OG again the Megas and OG like it's gifted. There's just nothing else coming. They're not calling the game. Radiance OG now have mega creep the secret. The tiny's up in six seconds. They can Radiance find this five, but that's going to be it. In fact, they just call it before the tiny is up. GG. OG will take game number one against Team Secret. Who forfeited an AFK inside their fountain. Instead, what a of, time. instead of calling GG right away, of course, the moment they call GG, they have they go out the booth, break time starts. They're, this is the same as taking a timeout, basically, just getting a little extra time to talk through the game.